Hello, everyone that is watching. Thank you for being part of this today. You know, um, this is going to really, really impact you and radically change the way you think. Some of the questions you've asked about results, you know, the application of faith, or just the kind of progress you want to see based on the application of spiritual principles, you're going to hear those things answered today. So this is it. Very often people always ask me like, you know, why is it I don't get the kind of result I want? I've taken time to pray. I've taken time to seek the face of God. God is speaking to me. So there's this disappointment. There's this huge feeling, crushing feeling of disappointment that the businessman feels as if I was believing God for a capital of 200 million. All I got was 10 million of a lady that still as if I was believing God to get married and this guy came along and it's not exactly what I want. And I now understand that. I understand that. That's why I want to speak into it. So it's almost as if, you know, you really have this high expectation and God is crushing and destroying those things. And some people just say, I didn't even see anything at all. It's just as if it's a waste of time. And when this is not dealt with, this is a challenge. You're going to a place where you become a bit, you know, angry with God, where you can just pull back spiritually because you feel as if, you know, if God wants to do it, let him do it. I have nothing to do with it. In Mark chapter 4, Jesus Christ spoke a very important parable. As a matter of fact, Jesus Christ placed such a premium on the parable because what I want to share with you is totally unscripted. You know, and what did he say? He said there was a parable of the sower and he said, number one, the heart of the, the, the soil of that parable is the heart of man. And the seed sown is what is the word of God. Now, this is what it means. It says, once you want to see results, what produces results is the word. Because when the word is sown in the human spirit, which is the heart of man, it produces results. So let me say this quickly here. The first thing you must understand is this. All results is going to be an outflow of the application of God's word. All kind of results, either it's a healing, either it's a miracle, either it's a husband, it's a the financial breakthrough, it's going to be that. And the reason I'm saying so is that a lot of people do not understand it. What does that mean? If I want to see a miracle in something, while that miracle will come is that I'm going to hear the word of God and receive by faith and the outflow of what I've received will turn out a miracle. Either I receive and process it through prayer, confession or any other action, any other spiritual activity. Now, the other thing I want to say is this. So, Jesus Christ said something extremely, extremely powerful. What did Jesus Christ say? This is what he said. He said, when the results start coming out, he said, when the word of God is applied, he says, first cover the blade, then the air, and the full corner of the air. Question, what is the blade? He says, when you begin to see results, sometimes it will come in three dimensions. First is the air, and he used a picture of agric. I don't know if you know about um, corn. When you plant corn, the first thing that comes out is this thing that is, looks totally horrible, it's not even edible. But again, it grows into something more substantial. Then the last thing is that the full corn comes out. And God says, this is exactly how results manifest in the kingdom of God. So let's say you're praying for, you're praying for 200 million naira for a business deal. As you're praying, you know, someone comes along and an opportunity comes up and you get 2.5 million. And, you know, it's really nothing because, I mean, the reason is 200 million. God says that the first thing you're seeing is the blade. What happens most of the time is that when people see that, people get discouraged. I'm like, is what I'm asking for. This is so, so rubbish. And what they do by doing that is to abort the process. Because when the blade comes, they use negative word to destroy it. When you see the blade, what is the blade? The blade is the manifestation that your prayers are being answered and there's a manifestation. It's not the full testimony of your prayers. You, what you need to do with the blade is to go into a place of thanksgiving and begin to water the sea and water it and water it and water it and begin to say, Father, I thank you. As you water the blade, it grows into the air, it grows into the full corn. Let me give another example. A lady wants to get married and say, Lord, this is the kind of person that I really desire. And God really honors that desire. But as you get married, some other person that, you know, it's not even the thing you like. It's not even the kind of person you're attracted to by all expectations. You are so heartbroken. And you're like, God, I'm praying for somebody. Why are you sending this guy? What do you think about it? This is the blade. How do you think about the blade? There was a time that nobody was even asking me out. 
this guy has come oh my god the blade is here he's not the one but lord i am grateful because after the blade comes the air after the air comes the full gun what happens most of the time the girl will go into a ranting mode become nasty nasty to that guy and is definitely able to appreciate the progressiveness of god's power and god's grace in his life so what happens is that he just dumps it and he aborts the process because what happens most of the time that people keep aborting this process let me give you one or two testimonies so a lady in our church i think she's been trying to have a child between five to seven years she then in the you know when it got intention she began to go for ivf and she went for the ivf and um you know several failed and this particular one she got pregnant and when she got pregnant four or five months of the pregnancy she lost the pregnancy. My God. She was broken. She was, my God. She was devastated. Oh, she called me. She felt like dying. And I said something to her. I said, I want to ask you a question. I understand how you feel. I understand the pain you feel. But let me ask you a question. Because the deep feeling was that God has failed me. And then if you feel that way, I understand. Because certain times in my life, those thoughts has filtered through my head and that's why i'm sharing this video if you know someone that feel as if god has failed them then you should get them to watch this video you should share the video with them you should tell them to follow me on um, bolaji id on instagram what the videos on harvest's tv so he said that god has failed them and guess what happened i said have you gotten pregnant before i said no this is my first pregnancy i said at least you now know you can get pregnant that is the blade i said when you've done all the season of pain go into a place of thanksgiving I say, Father, at least I've gotten pregnant. I come, worship, praise, and honor your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. And they say that, just go ahead and thank you for the blade. And guess what? She went to do that. Remember, she had done several IVFs. This was an IVF baby and came through. She went to place of things and did that. Guess what? Three to four months after that, she got pregnant again. And when she got pregnant, she got pregnant without an IVF. She got pregnant naturally. She carried the baby to full term. And the reason why I believe that happened was that when the blade came, although it seemed it was not what she wanted because of an abortion, what happened? She was able to process it with Thanksgiving. Um, you know, and I will share my personal experiences as a pastor. We're trying to buy property for the church. And we had seen this property as a Friday, we had concluded that by next week, Friday, we will pay for it. And I thought it was the bomb and um we we're trying to you know use some bank facility to pay we didn't have all the money so over the weekend my wife asked me and said will you please let me even see this property and just pray with you i said oh that's good that's a great wisdom so we went there together as we went there together one of the premium banks in nigeria i just saw their security guard there and they said well this is now our property so i called the agent they just said well you know, the bank have their ways, they offer bigger money and all of those kind of things and we move to them. I was devastated. I was devastated. But all of a sudden, I just remembered, we've never gotten so close to a deal like this. What we're going to agree to pay. I said, Father, I thank you because the blade and the sea and the air is here. Those are not the words I used, but that's how I could have processed it. I thank you because the next one's a full of air. Because we've been looking for a property for such a long time. Guess what happened? This is exactly what happened. The next time we got the property, we got another property within the next three months. The property was nearer our old, old church venue. It was cheaper. We could actually afford to pay for it cash and it was bigger. I believe the reason why that happened was this. When the blade and the edge showed up, it was not what I wanted. It was, it seemed insignificant, but I was able to acknowledge the hand of God in it. I saw a full manifestation. I want to ask you something. Are you sure that you have not aborted the cycle of answer prayers in your life? Because when the manifestation pops up, you, you just abort it and say wrong things. How do you abort it? By complaining and negative comments. The Bible says, Paul planted Apollo waters. That means when the seed of God's word is sown, what do you do at that point? You begin to water it when you see the blade. You begin to water it when you see the air. Maybe you're a minister of the gospel and you've seen some increase, you know, and it's not exactly what you want. And you are botting it or you are what watching it. That's why it's with thanksgiving that we used to water the seed of God's word into full manifestation. These are the Bible says. Bible says Abraham. Bible says Abraham was strong in faith. 
giving glory to God. He staggered not at his promise concerning his body. He said, was strong in faith. As he was giving glory to God, he was what? Watering. He was watering what was going on. Are you watering or you are cancelling? If this blessed you, I want to say something to you. And you want to see dynamic power in the place of prayer, join me Monday to Friday on Bola JID, Harvest TV. Listen to me. There's something about next level prayer. That's what I'm inviting you to. That when we will pray. There's always an outburst of supernatural power of God. The sick get healed. The barren have children. Delayed singles marry just like that. Finances, career and businesses just pick up. This will change you forever. If this video blessed you, share with all your friends. Tag them. Let me know I blessed you. I want to hear your questions. Thank you and God bless you.